What's up? It's your girl Kendra Elise. We're back with another freaking video. So, today is a story time. And I'm going to pretty much drink some tea and talk about this story time with you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Well, it's storming. Turn on those post notification buttons and uh, let's get in to the video. I gotta make the tea first, um, cause I didn't make it yet. But that will take a long time. What's up, what's up, it's a story time. Oh, I do have my tea. I do got my tea. So it's just a little too hot to drink right now. The story time today is the times that I've almost got kidnapped. I'm doing this video because I know there's a lot of young men and women out there who just walk the streets all the time or just from going outside like, it's it's scary. You can easily get kidnapped, easily get picked up. You know, I want to relate to other people. Like, it's not only you that's happened. Like, it's, it's happened, almost happened to me quite a few times. And I want the young people to see and understand why their parents are the way they are if they're strict and whatnot. So, this is just kind of my story to explain to you guys, like, my situations of almost being kidnapped. The very first time... That I can honestly remember of almost being kidnapped was it when I was like, I was like in middle school. I believe I was in middle school still. And we used to have to, me and my brothers used to have to bring the trash to the front and the recycling bins to the front at night. And it's not far, like the street was like right in front of the house. It wasn't even really far. But I, I was already afraid of the dark. Like it's not, it's been nothing new to me. So. I'm always very cautious when I go outside at night and I always like look around me and whatnot just to kind of, you know, make sure that I'm good. Like, you know. mm. So as I'm going outside, I look over and I see like a car with its headlights on, but then I saw somebody get in the car and he had a ski mask on. So I already knew this does not seem right. This does not seem right. I ended up just keeping an eye on them and then I went to the side of the house got the, the recycling bin as i'm walking up i'm walking up and i put that bit down bro tell me why they sped up they sped up as soon as i was putting it down and stopped right in front of me i turned around and ran so fast like i know i know a few people who when they're scared they just like they freeze up and i'm like bro you can't be doing that in these streets like you have to run run i ended up skipping up like the steps i know i missed about like two of them and i'm so glad the front door was um unlocked because sometimes it gets locked like it's one of those will be locked from the outside but unlocked on the inside i'm just glad it was unlocked because i was terrified and i don't think it's time for that but that was the first time that I've experienced something like that. The second time that I almost got kidnapped, I believe I almost did. I didn't stick around too much to really know if it was like them just messing with us or not. But it was me and my best friend, we were outside hanging out and it was during the day. So I want you guys to know like, this could still happen during the day. It's not just a nighttime thing. Like it can happen at any time of day. Some people just don't care. So we were hanging out outside and the door was locked to get into my house that I was living in at the time. And I was in like ninth grade. And I'm over here, you know, we were just hanging out. And we saw like two guys, probably like almost 30, you know, kind of in their 30s, walking down the street. And we like looked at them because we're like, all right, this kind of seems kind of suspicious. Like, y'all don't really give that good vibe off. We pretty much ended up, like, I was trying in the house and the way they stopped, because they like stopped and stared at us, the way that they stopped and stared, it was kind of like creepy. Like, we, we really didn't feel safe. And we tried calling my stepdad, we tried calling my brother to see like if they would come and pick up the freaking phone, but they didn't. And this whole time I'm just like, what the heck? Like pick up the phone, you know, we about to, we about to die out here. But when they started walking again, we ended up running. Well, I ended up running and my best friend stood there cause she was like scared. That's the situation, she was scared so she didn't run. 
And I was like, yo, let's go. What are you doing? Let's go. But we ended up running and then waiting in the backyard, like kind of looking down the driveway. And then they didn't exactly, like we didn't see them pass by. So we went around to the other driveway on the other side. And we look down and they're sitting in the driveway looking up at us like, yo, I was so scared. But we, so we ended up running and going into the shed and hiding in the shed for a little bit. Like we sat there for a minute. Um, when that happened, like when we ended up doing that and I still couldn't get a hold of nobody. We just ended up kind of like trying to go on to the next street over. So like squeezing through a fence and whatnot. And my friend Thick, so we, <laughs> So we, we tried to, I, I was able, I was like 90 pounds. So I was able to like squeeze through like this little, between the shed and the fence. But we had to like pull it for her. So this whole time, like we over here pulling, trying to get her to fit through. Ain't nobody come up. Like they had already gone left, whatever. Cause we ended up going or back around and not seeing nobody. And my brother ended up opening the door after all that. So that's that. That, that was scary as crap. And then one of the last times, this all happened when I was living in New York. So the third time that I almost got kidnapped, this was with my best friend as well. I was visiting though when I had moved to Florida, I had visited to uh, New York. And now this is partially kind of like we shouldn't have been in this situation, but we kind of just wanted to be stupid, dumb, young. It was like three in the morning and we all wanted to get chicken from Kennedy's Fried Chicken. And if some of you, if you guys are from New York, if some of you guys know, like y'all know. So we wanted to get some food. It's three in the morning. And I was just like, shoot, I was like, we can go. Like it was me and my best friend and then her friend. So we ended up going, walking all the way up Main Street at night. There's a lot of things that go on on that street, but we wanted the food. We didn't have a car. So we ended up, stop messing with my, stop messing with that. So we ended up, ooh. Walking up there, getting our food. Ooh, ooh. Dang, that tastes good. Yes. So we ended up walking up there. It's so warm inside of me. On our way back, we were walking, and I, you know, I didn't notice anything, but my best friend did, and she was just like, "Hey, you notice that this truck keeps driving back and forth, like just keeps going up and down the street." It was like a big beige like type of truck. And it was like an SUV type truck. And her friend was like, yeah, I noticed that. And I was like, oh, I, I didn't notice that. But we ended up seeing them pulling a the family dollar. At this time, family dollar closed. Like there ain't no need for you to be turning around right now. So we were just keeping an eye on that truck. We ended up walking through like a parking lot. And yo, the truck freaking like, it pulled in the parking lot and sped up and mind you it's snowy it's icy like come on like this is not the best situation to be running in so we ended up sped up running and and the car sped up like that truck like sped up through the parking lot so we run with our chicken and stuff slipping and sliding and my friend's friend dropped the chicken but it was a big yard so we better and, but we ended up getting inside and waiting a little bit to go back and get that chicken and yo it was like all these times that we could have been in, in some type of situation like, that, like it's not fun, it's real scary. And so like that type of thing made me afraid of the dark. So I'm afraid of the dark, yeah. No time in the dark, I'm in the situation with the dark. Like no. So yeah, that's that's my experiences of almost being kidnapped. I was so scared, I was so, scared. I was so scared run. Don't forget to run. You don't you don't just let things happen, you don't stand there, please don't do that, that's not smart. But I really just want this to be kind of a learning experience from other people without you having to go through it. So if you do watch this, if you've ever been in a situation like that, comment down below, like I want to I hear about it for real. If you haven't, then just you know, it can happen at any time of day, you have to keep your eyes out. You gotta, you gotta watch the streets, especially if you're living like in the hood, if you're living in a bad area. Like, which I, I, I was living in kind of a bad area, but it's kind of like, it's like a mixture of a bad and good area. It, it's not the best area. Keep a lookout in your surroundings. You know, just listening to what your parents are saying. There's a reason for why they 
they say what they say, why they do what they do. I, of course, I'm older now, so I understand that. But when I was your age, younger, whatever, I didn't understand that. So I'm just, I made this video. I want you guys to really, 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 really just like take from this and and keep an eye out. Especially with situations nowadays, we're having all this human trafficking and all this crazy stuff going on. Sex trafficking, I don't, I don't know, like, you, just all this stuff, you want to be safe, you want to be careful. Because it can happen to a guy or a girl, like, it really don't matter. I just happen to be a girl going through the situations. So, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it wasn't too, like, funny or, I don't know if it was interesting to you, but this is something I felt like I should explain to you guys and just learn. learn. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help teach you guys, you know? <laughs> you know? So, yeah. I'd move my big head away from this um this camera. Even though I'm loving this lens. This lens is like perfect. Kendra Lee's. <laughs>